Hello and welcome to 3D print pressure. The weather is getting nicer and nicer. The sun can be seen more and more often outside and now it's time to go more outdoors again. But of course not without the 3D printer. Well, you don't have to take it with you, but there are a lot of things you can print with it. And today I'm printing a bike mount for my cell phone. I really like to go on a big bike tour sometimes and I use the Komoot app. Maybe some of you know it already. It's a kind of a navigation system with predefined routes or routes you can build by yourself, which can then be used especially for biking, hiking or other outdoor activities. But what's the point if you can't see the route in front of you and you're on the road with your bike? I searched something for me on Thingiverse and today I show you how well this thing works and how I have printed it. Have fun watching the video. Yes, and so is the holder looking like from the designer Plastic Barista. So really a great part by different holder sizes, different diameters, different handlebars, adjustable, different heights. As you can see, there is a short version and a long version. I choose the short version so that already looks all very professional, at my opinion. You need a few additional parts, some M4 screws, a few washers and a few other little things. You can find all the details on the Dingiverse webpage I show you in the video description. So you only need to pick the parts out you like to have, you like to want, download them as usual and then just insert them into Cura accordingly. I make it very easy for myself. I throw now all parts onto the heat bed. I will slice them, arrange them a little bit and print them all at once. I will print these parts in Acer simply because of the stability Acer offers to me and you can see it already here. I'm printing with 10 ball lines, so really I want a robust part, a stable part. I want to make sure that my phone is stored well and doesn't get damaged by a break of the material. Support structures are not needed for this print. The orientation of all parts are designed to be absolutely FDM friendly. For the density, I also decided here for a higher value of 40%. As I said, I want to play it's safe here. After all, it's about a cell phone and it's not a very cheap toy. If such a thing falls off when riding a bike, that's really pretty annoying. And this is how the finished print looks like. Printed on my Genius, as I said with Acer on FR4 plate, the parts should come off pretty well, very nice. That's already quite loose, fits, and the next one Two. Print quality looks very good. That's how I imagined it. That's the screw. Also the threads looks absolutely excellent. The holder for the cell phone one side also here came clear out and the counterpart with the guide fits. Yes, that all looks very very good. Let's check if I can screw it in. If it works very well, if the thread is fine. Yes, seems good. Works perfectly. It does fit. So we came to the next step, the pre-assembly. Here a long screw turned into the plastic screw in order to give the plastic simply more stability and breakage resistance. In particular, since this was printed on the Z axis upwards and those in principle everyone knows it a certain breaking point automatically arises at set high. Such a screw which is inserted within this plastic is an incredible increase in the overall stability of this component and I'm totally thrilled with how the designer was implemented this year. From the idea, from the conception and also from the precision because you already see that it can be screwed in excellently. That's really super good. 
Of course, the printer must be calibrated quite clear with such parts, otherwise there will be problems. But you see, that fits very nice. So screw is in, it's also put together and now we want to test the whole thing. I'll just turn it in. So this all looks very good. This is the counter piece for the handlebars and my screws I need. Of course, I already have prepared it. We can now go straight away to the next step. So let's go to the bike. I have decided to attach the bracket on the right side of the handlebars. Also at this point the assembly is really super easy and I have the nuts at the top already inserted to make it easier for me. And now turn from below the screws against the nuts upwards. Please excuse the angel, that is not always the optimal situation for you to watch here. Um, it is sometimes a bit difficult to estimate which angel to choose to have an optimal position for the camera. But I think you could estimate it what I'm doing here. So, everything is mounted, Komoot app is opened, ready to go. Very nice. Let's see how stable the phone is in this holder. So I will shake it and move it around even with force. And to be honest, I don't think it will fall out really easily. Phone is fitting really well and I even have not fully turned the button around. So there would be still room to make it even tighter. I also find the optics absolutely successful and problematic and it looks clean. You've seen it is really a cool bike mount which can also then grow with the phones. I don't know, maybe the phones are still getting larger, maybe they will be smaller again, I don't know, a few years ago. Nobody would think about that we will even have such big phones in future, so we will see. However. This holder is itself freely movable and can be adjusted accordingly so it can still grow or get smaller depending to the phone you will use in future. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you like this part or you like the video, thanks to give me a thumbs up. I wish you happy printing. See you next time. Bye.